stuff is so such an awful sorry sorry guys um so anyways i just wanted to give you guys not an update um i wanted to share with you my experiences going to the Kikis, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Mikey J. I am a foreigner that came to move to the Philippines, like in February. Um, my nose is a little, my nose is a little bit stuffy, quality stuffy. So, essential novel. Sorry, sorry guys. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys not an update. Um, I wanted to share with you my experiences going to the LTO office, the land of transportation in the Philippines. Um, excuse the paper, it's medio my unit. It's a little hot today. Um, there's no wind. It's like when I come outside to... Nani? Do you guys want to see my Guya in his underwear? Okay. You should be asleep. I'm over here trying to film a YouTube video. I could be inside with the fan, but my Kuya was supposed to be sleeping, and I'm over here like... Anyway, so... When you get the chance to go to the Evermarket, outside the Evermarket, there's people standing outside with the food and food stuff. Look for some of them, you can get done, and if they have to buy some, and my headache is coming out here to shoot it. Okay, so I am busy currently. I'm yeah, trying to done. film a YouTube video. It's been like... I don't know, three weeks? But Pacentia and Apple, my kikis, I'm sorry my kikis, I'm gonna get back to you today. Um, I've just been... I've just been a little bit like, out of it, a little bit, yes. Um, looking for a job, I told you the update with that. So yes, um, so anyways, I went to go get my license, uh, what's it called, transferred? No. License conversion, converted to a Filipino license because we finally got a motor, but I think you call it a scooter. It's not like the scooter you're thinking in America. It's like basically you can put both feet on the the in the front. There's like a front pad. I don't know. I'll insert a picture over here somewhere. Anyway, so I went to the LTO Land Transport Office. Department of Land Transfer Office, is that what it's called? I'm not quite sure. Oh, Land Transportation Office, it's all this paper. I should just look at it. Anyways, so, quick note, if you are doing a conversion um, of a license from a foreign country, or if you are getting a new license, you need to go to the main office, which is in Quezon City on um, East Avenue, okay? So, you cannot do it at any of the branches. I think they just recently changed that, like this year or last year. So, none of the other branches have approval um, to process new license or to do a transfer of license. Uh, no, a conversion of license. I keep saying transfer. Yes, a conversion of license, okay? So, make sure you go to the main office in Quezon City. That's in M Manila. It's on East Avenue, Quezon City, okay? So, you go in there. Um, you probably go to the front help desk and then afterwards they tell you you need to get a medical certificate um, Basically, it's like right down the street um, You could probably do it at anyone's but just make sure they're certified to do it from the land transportation office Okay, so they're gonna go in there. They're gonna ask you any of your medical history um, Basically to see if you're fit to drive and then they're gonna do like the eye exam cover one eye cover the other eye You know that type of stuff. Generally in um, at least California, I'm not sure about the whole US of A, but in California they do that at the Department of Transportation, right? So you don't have to go to a separate building. But here you need to go to a separate building and you need to have that before you come um, to the office or back to the office so they can uh, process your paperwork. So you need to have your medical certificate um, which is about 500 pesos. You also need to have a copy of your passport and a copy of your driver's license. And um, if you're not an OFW and you're a foreigner, you need to have a copy of your visa. Um, 
your visa, either your visa or your visa extensions, okay? And your ACRI card, your alien card of registration, okay? So again, you need to have your medical certificate that says you're fit to drive. You need to have your passport. Um, you need to have your ACR card, ACRI card, <laughs> and you need to have your, um, oh my god, I'm blanking out. And you need to have your, um, oh, visa extensions, yeah, from the office, okay? So make sure you have those, you need to have two copies of each one. But of course, bring the originals of your passport, your visa extension, and your visa extension, your passport, and your driver's license. Driver's license, yes. You, yes, you need to have copies of all of those. A driver's license and ACR card, ACRI card, okay? Make sure that you bring your visa extension paperwork, okay? It's very important because if your ACR I card is from your first extension, because mine is from my first extension, they won't take it. You still need to bring it, but they won't take it unless you have your receipt um, for your extension, your second extension, okay? And I'll, I need to tell you guys something about the second extension at the branches and yada 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 okay but that's for another video yes i have lots of well not lots of information but just kind of some information to give you <laughs> okay so after you have that uh you need to bring those copies with you to um the lto the l the land transportation office <laughs> yes so again your driver's license your foreign driver's license your um Visa extension paperwork, your ACRI card, your alien card of registra registration identity, and your, oh my god, I'm blurping out, your visa extension paperwork, did I already say that? And your passport. I feel like I said that already, yes? So make sure you bring your originals, which you need to have two copies of each of those, except for your medical certificate, because they just take that from you, okay? So, you go in, and you go to window one. I mean, it might be different, but you go to window one, you give them your paperwork, they have you fill out, um, you know, like a regular form, like your name, your address, uh, what purpose for the driver's license. This is obviously for personal use. If you have a commercial, you need a commercial one. I'm not sure what the process is with that, if you have to take a test or da 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 da. But this one, you don't have to take a test as long as you have your driver's license from your original uh, country of origin. I believe, at least for Americans, yes. So, you go in there. Now, be forewarned that their system may be offline, meaning their computers have gone offline, so you're gonna have to wait for them to come online. So this is, plan this to be like an all day type of situation. We went at 10 and we left at like 1.32ish, okay? 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, like three and a half, four hours, okay? Which is kind of normal at the DMV, um, in the states um, if you don't have an appointment of course always make an appointment but i don't think you can make an appointment at this at, at the at the lto here which is the dmv in the states so make sure that you clear your whole schedule you don't have anything planned okay um because it could take a little bit of time or it could take a lot of time what i read online is they've been having problems with the computers going offline which is their system going offline since like September of this year, so hopefully they get that fixed before you guys go, okay? So, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and then they call you to um, to go pay, right? I'm not sure if you pay or you take your fingerprints and your pictures first, but you pay. The price is about 785 pesos, okay? So it's 100 pesos for the application fee, 100 pesos for the conversion fee, and 585 pesos for the license fee, okay? So, total amount is 785 pesos for a conversion of foreign license, okay? So just be aware, I think the price they have online is a lot cheaper, so this was a lot more um, Machado Mahal, which is more expensive than we thought it was. Um, so luckily we brought extra cash. Always bring extra cash, you know, the prices they pull online could be more expensive or not be, they could be lower never know right um, anyways so you go in there you pay you know the 785 pesos and then after that you take your fingerprints you know on the fingerprint machine two fingers your thumbs and whole fingers and stuff like that 
And then, I hope you can hear me because it's a loud motorcycle. <laughs> and then, you take your picture, they show you your picture, and you can decide to, I guess, retake, which is a lot better than it is in the US of A. They don't even show you your picture. They just <laughs> take the picture, right? But for me, um, I have melanin in my skin, so I know it's not going to turn out a good picture no matter what I do. You know, I need extra lighting to capture my true beauty. <laughs> <laughs> So, I just said yes, you know, take the picture, da 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 So, I mean, I said yes, the picture was fine, da 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 But so my hair is bleached, which I'm still not sure if I want to re-bleach it again or just keep it black and cut it off because the motorcycle helmet always ruins my curls, so I'm just like, maybe I should just keep it short. I don't know. So, let me know what you think in your comments below. If you have any way to keep your curls while you have a motorcycle helmet on because I, every time it comes off, it's like flat, like super flat. But anyways which they're kind of flat now, but they're wet. Anyways, so, 785 pestles. Make sure that you clear your whole schedule for the day. Go in early. Oh, last thing, they are called fixers. They're in the front of the land of transportation office. Do not go with the fixer, okay? They're gonna be telling you, oh, hey, I can help you, come over here, da da da, -da. Um, I, I, I can help you process your license, da da da, -da. but, when I went to the medical clinic, the medical clinic said no to fixers. It was like a big, like, no fixer sign, right? And then when I went inside the LTO office, the windows, it said no fixer. So technically, I think fixers are illegal in the Philippines, battle, but, you know, they're still trying to hustle. They're still trying to make their money. Um, I even saw, I think, a Middle Eastern guy yelling at the fixers because he probably paid them something to help them, but he couldn't get his license in the end anyway. So just don't do it. Just go inside the LTO and they will tell, give you the instructions and they'll give you everything, okay? So make sure you don't go with the fixers. Make sure that when you go to the medical office, you don't ask someone to take you because they're going to expect you to pay them, okay? So just just go with the flow. Don't don't go with the flow. <laughs> don't. Don't. Don't let them take advantage of you because they will try to because, you know, that's their hustle. They're trying to make their money. We can't fault them for that you know times are hard right now especially after the pandemic but do not go with the fixers because technically it's illegal and if you get caught i'm sure they'll just not take you not process you at all i'm not quite sure what the repercussions are for that so just don't do it okay um so yeah that's it um i think i went over everything oh they may not give you a physical license um, they gave my Kuya, which is my older brother, a physical license um, that he took home already. I have this paper. I'm not going to show you the front because it has my information on it. But this paper is valid for a year, right? 2023. Until 2023. So I'm pretty sure it's valid for a year because it takes them a while to send your actual physical license to your address that you live at, right? So some people have never gotten their license, I've heard like for a really long time. So this paper is your license. If you do not get a physical card at the LTO, make sure you keep this paper when you drive, when you go anywhere, okay? Um, oh, and this license is good for a motor, a motorcycle, and for a car. So make sure you click those boxes, check those boxes when they give you the paper to fill out after window one, okay? Um, and yes, it's a long process. They might not take you in the order that they received you. Just don't get angry. Stay calm. You know, you're in a foreign country. Do not make a big scene. Okay, just stay calm and you'll get processed eventually. You know, go with the flow once you're inside the LTO. When you're outside the LTO, do not go with the flow. <laughs> okay? Anyways. Salama po my kikis, and again, Pesentra na po, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded a video in such a long time. I'm going to be releasing one video a week, that's my promise to myself and my promise to lahat, to you all, okay? So, uh, my name is Mikey J, and salama po my kikis for tuning in, and to my new subscribers, my new my kikis, welcome to the Kiki fam, and I think that's it. Paalam uh, po my kikis, and don't forget to keep your kiki clean. <laughs> Ball and ball. Hangang Samuli. <laughs> see you till see you next time, next week.
Hopefully. <laughs> Saw the all. <laughs> okay, follow <ball. laughs>